Well, hello. This is continuing with the uh, AX5, Fujika AX5 repair. Um, still working on the lens. You can see it's made out of plastic and it just kind of crumbled when I took it off. Uh, it still works, but it still doesn't go to infinity and it still doesn't get as close. So inside, I'm going to have to take it all apart and then uh, make some adjustments and put it back together again and make it work. Otherwise, I think it, it's going to be a pretty good lens. Uh, when I took the lens apart yesterday, um, there was some, focus, some fungus inside, and I took the fungus out, used alcohol to wipe it, and then uh, clean it up as best as I could. And, um, yep, so the, that's gone. I was able to open up the, uh, the back, and the thing jiggling around inside the back, thankfully, was the little doodad that catches the canister so you can spin it. And it's got a thread on the end of it and a place right there where a snap ring, uh, you can see in there, this is threaded on the end and a place for a snap ring can hold it. So I'm gonna have to shove this back in there through the hole, put a snap ring on it and then find something that I can thread in there and still be able to um, rewind the film and then pull it up. Um, how did I open this without having the rewind and pulling up tool thingy that comes with the camera? I made a tool out of a coat hanger. Uh, my wife has, uh, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven hundred coat hangers. Um, I'm allowed to use the wire ones for my clothes. She uses all the good plastic ones for her clothes. So I took one out of stock. Um, please do not tell my wife. That's that's death. I ruined the coat hanger. But anyway, that's what I did. Uh, I clipped it and made a little wire uh, hooky out of it. Fished it through the inside here. Like that. And you can see on this side right here, these are what clip onto the little latch on the door, right here. So that was closed. Obviously now you can't get it open, right? So you gotta reach in there, kind of find it, and then pull it up. And as I pull on, if I can pull it, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it yet or not. There's a little spot inside there. The light's not good, but there's a little spot inside there we have to catch with this, and it pulls these up. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Pulls these up. No, oh, can't do it backwards and reverse and like that. But anyway, you get the idea. So with that, I was able to open it and clean it out, retrieve this, so I'm going to take this to the uh, hardware store and find the, the snap ring that matches, uh, find the snap ring that matches uh, that groove and find some way to thread a screw under there or maybe a knob, I can find something that works like that. Um, I could buy, and there's a couple, two or three broken as is um, X3s that I can probably buy and then use the parts to fix this guy. Uh, I may have to do that if I can't find the hardwares. And it'll look kind of janky, but uh, that's that's kind of the, the thrill of putting this thing back together again. Maybe it'll look like a Frankenstein uh, deal there. Uh, unfortunately, when I had it, the first couple times I was pulling on this, first time it, it kind of flipped out of my hand and hit the deck, and that's how the plastic ring broke off. And now, um, when I turn it on, and now when I turn it on, it goes to on, it's an AEL, the focus, it doesn't, it doesn't fire anymore, and now the meter doesn't work. So I really, really broke it. This project is getting harder as it's going along. Uh, it may not be worth the effort, but 
what else you can do during your COVID times, right? So um, I have to figure that out. What happened? Um, I don't. The battery is obviously still good. Um, the guy who sent it to me was nice, kind enough to provide the battery as well. And the battery is a uh, Panasonic 4LR44, which I could not find in Bahrain anywhere. I was going to use four LR44s and a little piece of metal in there to make a stack, and that would work because you need six volts. But he provided one, so that's nice. Uh, I don't have to go and find one. Um, so let's see if it works. Nope, still broken. So that's today's uh, where we're at today. I'm off to the hardware store. Wish me luck.